All right, Shalom. Shalom. We are the brothers from the Jim S. Atlanta Church, back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, the lesson be edified to an elect member too. Before we get started, as always, want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shad, Ba'ashem, Rukhakadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity. All right. So uh, I got the brother Shamat with me, you know. Uh, fellow laborer here in GMS Atlanta, uh, and we're just gonna uh, let the spirit flow, man. We had we have a topic and a couple of precepts, you know, and then we're okay. just gonna let the uh, spirit take over, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go into a being devoted, man, or, or having devotion, and goes in what, and and go into what that word actually means. All right, and link it up with the scriptures, man. Okay. So you got that word, bro. Okay. The definition of devotion it reads lo love. Loyalty or enthusiasm for a person, activity, or cause. Yeah, love. What else you said, bro? Loyalty. Loyalty. Uh huh. Or enthusiasm for a person. Uh huh. Or enthusiasm for a person. All right. Mm -hmm. hey, aren't we to love um, our neighbor as we love ourselves? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Aren't we uh, supposed to love the brotherhood? All right. And ultimately, we're supposed to love uh, Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay. Because uh, without him, hey, we wouldn't have this, you know, what we uh, call a brotherhood, okay? So that's where devotion uh, uh, comes in, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. It says activity or cause. Mm -hmm. And what's the uh, cause, man? Hey, the waking of the nation of Israel, man. All right, the calling out and telling our people who they really are. All right, according to the scriptures. All right, that's the cause that we're devoted to. All right, the cause of trying to get us saved and our immediate family, man, through our works, all right? That's the cause, man. That's what we're devoted to, okay? Keep going. Some of the synonyms. Yeah, synonyms, yeah. Uh-huh. It says loyalty, yep. faithfulness, faithfulness, mm -hmm. fidelity, fidelity, trueness, trueness, steadfastness, steadfastness, uh, commitment, commitment, adherence, yep, allegiance, mm -hmm. dedication, yep. Uh, yeah. So so yeah, man. We we have to be all of those things when it comes to serving the Lord. All right. And in serving the Lord, we have to uh, deny ourselves certain things that me that we may want to do. All right. Because we're committed to the preaching of the gospel. Okay. And to the proclaiming, you know, and and the, and the um, and the rising of, of the nation of Israel, man. The the house, the spiritual house of David, being built, man, through us. Okay. So we're that's a job. All right. And we're the laborers and we're uh, devoted, man, or committed. All right. So um, grab me uh, uh, Sirach 9 and 10, uh, Baba Kusha. All right. Because uh, the word devotion goes into committed. And if you're committed to some man, hey, you go hard for it. Yeah. All right. You you put your all into it. Okay. Go ahead. This is Sirach chapter 9, verse 10. Uh -huh. Forsake not an old friend, for the new is not comparable to him. A That's new? a rock nine and ten. Yes. It's a rock. So like I find it. Um my fact, uh go to second Timothy uh four and two. Second uh, Timothy chapter four. Uh huh. Verse two. Yeah. It says, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, mm -hmm. reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Yep. Hey, we're supposed to preach the word or this gospel, man, in season yeah. and out of season, no matter what the weather may be. Okay. Whether it's rain, <laughs> sleet, hell or snow, that takes a certain level of commitment, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Not taking breaks off during, you know, the severe weather, you know, or under any conditions. Hey, man, we out there on the streets, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. Because, hey. We're committed. We're devoted to the preaching of the gospel, man. All right? And if, if anybody uh, tell you otherwise, you know, and that they take breaks from going out preaching the gospel, they're not devoted, man. They're not committed. All right? Because we're striving for something that's bigger than us. Okay? Which is ultimately, you know, being saved. So we can be exempt from uh, all of the things that are going to take place here in America, man. 
Uh, and ultimately, the missiles. You had something you want to say? Come on, come on. Just, basically, man, we all fighting for that for that one cause. Mm -hmm. You know, this this is something. This is life and death for us. You know, we are fighting with the next soldier uh, beside us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something. This something serious. It's nothing to take uh, be taken lightly either. You know, right. but you you can see a, a person's or a brother's devotion. You know, by his works. You know, exactly. Mm -hmm. You had a preach up. Can I get an account uh, with the disciples in Yahweh Shah? If I can, go ahead, bro. This is uh, Matthew chapter four, verse eighteen. It says, "And Yahweh Shah, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers." It said, "It reads, verse nineteen. He said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men.' And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Mm -hmm. You know, so they 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 dropped their nets. You know, it, uh, instantly. You know, without without question. Mm -hmm. You know, and listen to Yahweh Shah, follow the Spirit." You know, they, they left that behind. Just the same with us. You had, they, that shows that disciples were devoted, but we're in that same light as well. You know, follows up Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we gotta, we gotta, hey, some things, some situations, you know, you gotta, you gotta drop what you're doing and just adjust. You know, this is just to show your commitment, your devotion. Yep. You know? It's beautiful. You said that um, you got some more on it. No, that was it. Okay, grab uh, Matthew uh, 16 and verse 24. Because, like I uh, mentioned earlier, man, there may be things that you want to do, you know, pertaining to the flesh. But if you're devoted and committed to your how about Shimei outside and the preaching of the gospel, and hey, you're going to deny that, man, put that to the side, all right, because this is his first priority, all right? This is, uh, is what you're committed to. You're steadfast, okay? All right? Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Then say Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Yep. And so, take up his cross. Yeah, so if any man comes to serve the Lord, they deny himself. And how do you deny yourself? Putting off those fleshly wants that, you know, that, that Babylon, all the goodies it has to offer, you know, all the uh, trinkets and gadgets and shit, yep. the folly. You know, because all of that shit, you know, is, is a pleasing to the yep. flesh. It feels good. Yep, temporary. Yep, it's, it's temporary, man. But we're working for something that's uh, immortal, man. Yep. Eternity, eternal life, man. We're fighting to be the uh, the governing body, man, of of, of Yasharala, man. All right, we want to be we want to be in that number, man. We don't want to come back through the loins. We want to be the first ruling uh, body, man, which is 140, and it's only a seat for 144,000, you know, of of men of such. Okay, so that's why we put off, you know, the scriptures to tell you also, you know, to put off the old man, all right, and wanting to do these worldly things and things. That you know, we're not saying neglect your uh, what you have to do, you know, as far as being right. a man, like going to work, paying your bills right. and shit like that. It'll be all the right. Yeah, we talking about the shit that you really don't have to do, but you want to do. Mm -hmm. All right, so it can be a a, a, a pleasing to your flesh. No, you gotta uh, hey, let that shit go. All right, you got something on the line. You trying to got them nab, but a brother hit you up and say, hey man, let's you know. Do a lesson or something. Hey, man, you got to tell, hey, man, I'll catch up with you later. You know, I got some more shit to do. Yeah. All right? That's that's having a certain level of devotion. Yeah. All right? So uh, start back from the top. Up. So, uh, verse 24. Then say Yahweh Shah to his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself mm -hmm. and take up his cross and follow me. Yeah, take up your cross and follow him, man. All right? Getting in the fight. All right? It's one thing to have faith, but faith without works is dead. All right. So the picking up that cross is you bearing, bearing your burden, man, of preaching this gospel. All right. Looking uh, uh, foolish amongst men, man. All right. The scripture tell you be instant, instant, in season, out of season, like we said. So if we out there and it's pouring down, got them raining. All right. But we're steady out there preaching the gospel. That looks like a foolish act in the eyes of, of, of men, man. Uh, I get a precept right. for you. Go ahead, bro. It's First Corinthians chapter four, verse ten. Mm -hmm. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake. Yep. But ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Mm -hmm. You are ye are honorable, but we are despised. Yeah. Hey, and the scriptures tell you, man. Hey, just know if they hated and hated me, all right, that they'll hate you. Roughly mm -hmm. paraphrasing, they hated Yahweh Shai first, man. All right. And the scriptures also tell you in Matthew five. A blessed a be you when uh, men shall persecute you, all right, for his name's sake. So actually going out and doing these acts 
uh, or foolishness because of your devotion is actually a good thing in the eyes of the Lord. Matter of fact, go to uh, 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, and start at verse 26. Uh, just to add to your point, bro. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. Mm -hmm. uh, it reads, For ye see your calling, mm -hmm. brethren, mm -hmm. how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, Mm -hmm. Not many noble mm -hmm. are called. Yeah, yeah, so not many men that meet those right those criterias right there, or meet or has those qualifications are not called. All right, not many of them. Okay, go ahead. But the Most High have chosen the foolishness things of the world to confound the wise. Yeah, the foolishness of of the world, man, to confound the wise. So the things that we do out of dedication and commitment and steadfastness and devotion for the Lord may seem foolish. Yeah. But we already know we're doing this for a bigger, uh, a bigger cause, man. That you know, at the end of the day, you know, we shall be saved if we continue to do these foolish things, uh, or what may seem foolish in the sight of man, Come. right? But is actually, you know, a righteous act, you know, uh, in the sight of the Lord. Come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to add to the point. Go ahead. Uh, like with the precept, you know, we we do look foolish to man. We don't have a certain status. We don't have millions of dollars. You know, but we gonna we confound those elites, man. Mm -hmm. You know, cause they don't know what's going on. We know what's going on. But we seem low uh uh physically, but spiritually, man, we're high. You know, we're wise men, men of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know. Come yeah, yeah. Hey man, hey, you regular average Jakes, man, and you peon Edomites, you know, you have no idea. Yeah. All right. We're fighting uh, uh uh spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Yeah. All right. And and that may seem you know, because cause our people are all carnal, okay? Mm -hmm. Carnality and other flesh, they can't see the spiritual fight that we're in. Right. That's why it looks foolish, all right? But we're devoted, man. We're committed, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you want to, Matthew? You keep, keep going to verse 28. Oh, I mean, 1 Corinthians. Bye bye. Sure. And Lord willing, that precept will come back soon. Come, uh, verse uh, 28. Mm -hmm. And base things of the world and things which are despised. Have most high chosen. Yeah, things that are despised have the most high chosen, man. Okay? Such as, you know, uh, uh, looking foolish, man. Yeah. All right? So we don't have, like the brother said, a certain status in this world or, you know, the most lavish uh, lifestyles. But that's who the Lord's deal with. The Lord deal with, man. The meek, the humble, you know, the lowliness of heart. And we're, um, and we'll, we'll be proud to be called that, man. All right, because it's for a bigger cause. Like we, you know, keep reiterating. All right, through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Okay. Go ahead. In the base things of the world, and things which are despised, have the most I chosen. Yeah, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. Yep. Hey, and that's what that's why we're here, because uh, verse twenty six said the Lord had not chosen the mighty, you know, or the wise, you know. To, uh, that he's dealing with, he does. He deals with the weak, all right, mm -hmm. and lowly and lowliness of heart. Okay, um, go to uh, Luke sixteen and uh, around verse uh, thirteen. All right, Luke chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. No servant can serve two masters. Yeah, no servant can serve two masters. So you got to make the decision, man. Whether you want to serve. Uh, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, or you want to serve man, you know, yeah. or you want to serve a woman, yeah. you want to serve money, you got to make that uh, decision, man. Yeah. All right, which which one? Cause it it is no gray area, man. Yeah. If you're gonna be devoted to Yahweh by Shimei Shai, that's gonna take up majority of your time, man. Just yeah. like with an athlete, if he's devoted right. to what he's doing, he's gonna be in the gym, you know. Uh, more than he's are out bullshit. Yep. He's gonna put in that work, all right, because he's devoted. He's committed into uh, uh, perfecting his craft, so to speak. And you, come, go ahead, bro. It's like it. mm -hmm. But Con, you can you can tell by a man's performance. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, those athletes, you know they work. You see, you see how they work hard through their performance, man. Their results. Mm -hmm. You know that's what we're looking to get results. You know you can't you can't fake the spirit. You know that's why that's why uh, spirits get sifted. You know, people, uh, you can't Google such spirit. You can't fake the funk. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only going to last but for a moment, man. Mm -hmm. 
Because what you're doing in the, in the dark, hey amen, it's going to come to light. Whether you not doing what you're supposed to do spiritually, you know, or, or, or physically, it's going to show, man. All right. And and a lot of people, you know, uh, land back in, you know, with the scenario we used with the athletes, a lot of people just see the finished product. All right. They see him going out there dropping 30, 40 points, scoring three, four touchdowns a game, you know, three, four goals or whatnot. But they don't see the, the, the devotion and the dedication and the steadfastness in which it took to get them those athletes to that certain point, man. It's what you do behind closed doors is really what matters, man. All right? That's heavy. Um, Reread it from the top. Uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 13. No man, it's like no servant can serve two masters. Mm -hmm. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Yeah, so either you will hate how about Shimei I was shy and loved the other. Whatever you whatever other thing that's taking the majority of your time that you've been devoted to. Mm -hmm. So you'll either hate the most high and love that, or in case in which you should do is hate those things and love your how about Shimei I was shy. You gotta pick, man. Yeah. All right. The most high does not deal with, with the spirit of being lukewarm. All right. And if you're lukewarm, you're not <laughs> devoted. All right. And this is plain and simple. Mm. Okay. So if one man, uh, he cannot serve two masters, he'll either hate one or love the other. That's just simple and plain. Yeah. It didn't say he 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 might hate one and he may love the other, mm -hmm. or it's 50-50. Nah, man. It's, 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 it's yeah, how about Shimi how it's shy way or the highway, man. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Uh, it reads, or else he will hold the one and despise the other. Mm -hmm. He cannot serve the most high in mammon. Yeah, and the word mammon goes into money, okay? A lot of jakes get caught up into trying to goddamn run the sack up, yep. all right? And that's all, you know, they're devoted to. Yep. If if a nigga put that much energy into your how about shimmy how shy and the right things in which he should do, he'll be a goddamn, he'll be goddamn yep. you know, a fucking... He'll be a part of the elect, goddamn. <laughs> if he goddamn put that much dedication and devotion towards, you know, the, the right things in the spirit. Right. All right. As much time as he, he's putting into making money and, and trying to, you know, fuck holes and, you know, mm -hmm. all, all that shit uh, Jake is into, you know, outside of uh, of the right things. Mm -hmm. I had a precept for you. Go ahead, bro. Uh, just, to, just to land back, you know, and we not we not we worried about uh, the truth first, you know. That, that just going to more into that devotion. Mm -hmm. This this is what we're committed to. This is first priority. You got to prioritize in this thing, you know. Mm -hmm. What's really important at the end of the day, you know. This is Matthew chapter six, verse thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and His righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. See when you do when you do what you got to do first, man. Hey, how about you? I'm gonna make sure you straight. You know, I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna sit here and say he's gonna make you a millionaire or something, but he's gonna make sure you uh you you're sustainable. Yeah, your you daily know? bread, you're gonna get yeah. it. Come on, that's mm -hmm. it. That was it on that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, see. Uh I I'll read more verse thirty four. Mm -hmm. It says, Take therefore no thought of to or for the morrow. For the morrow shall take look shall take shall like it. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we not worried, we not uh Oh, I got to invest in this. I got to, you know, we just, hey, we flow with the spirit, man. You know, we understand that Yahweh Shem Yahweh is in control of all things. You know, so we never worry, man. We're freedom. Us being this truth now, us being devoted to this truth, and we're freedom. We're free from worry, man. We're not worried about what we used to worry about because we have this truth, you know? Yep. And no matter what may come with, you know, preaching the truth and the, uh, the gospel of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we knew what we signed up for, man, yeah. before we got into it. Yeah. All right? So you can't have a certain level of, of devotion for some, and then when you start catching hell and shit, yeah. you act like you ain't know. Mm -hmm. All right, nah, man. If you're gonna be devoted, you'll take what comes along, you know, with the task that is at hand. All right, long nights in the gym, you know, back aching, right. you know, knees uh, shot. You know, if you want to uh, scribe and be committed and devoted to your craft. And we do the same thing with the scriptures, man. Exactly. We'll stay up late, you know, with brothers, you know. Uh, Chopping it up through the spirit. Brothers mm -hmm. knowing they got to get up, you know, early the next day and go to work. Right. But we know what we're devoted to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, y'all, um, I got something real quick. You can break it down. Uh, uh, this uh, is, um, uh, Sirach, uh, chapter two. 
Uh, verse 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Hey, that's it right there. That's the spirit. I already think about Sirach 21. He was, mm -hmm. he was speaking. Man, you, know, you know what you signed up for. We, we're preparing ourselves now. We know what's to come, but we have to still get ready. You know, we still got to prepare our faith. We got to store up our faith to make sure we can uh, tackle those obstacles that will be put in front of us by Yahweh by some Yahweh. And Lord willing, we endure through it. Mm -hmm. You know, but we, we know what's coming. That's why we're preparing ourselves. You know, you we a servant. You know, it says, can you read it again? Oh, come, sure. my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare right. thy soul for temptation. Come, preparing our soul for temptation. Those are, hey, what one of that one of those hour temptation, man, the RFID chip. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be real. You know, it's not gonna be on your regular. Oh, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and and just buy whatever soda or whatever. It's gonna be that. It's gonna be it's gonna be a, a change that day, man. The instant quickness. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, preparing ourselves, you know, we, that's what we're doing now. You know, yep. That's why I say for, for Satan not the fellowship, you know, mm -hmm. the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. uh, verse two, it says, "Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, God. and make not haste in the time of trouble." Right. So in the time of trouble, don't don't look so quick to oh get out of that situation, man. Hey, hey, roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, go ahead, endure it, yep. go through it, man. Yep. And set your heart right. How are you gonna do that? Hey, by by with the brothers, getting with the brothers and. and Putting your head in these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, it's a it, we we have the recipe. We just gotta follow it. You That's know right. the order. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's um. And what's that saying in the word? Hey, keep that same energy. <laughs> All right. So goddamn, keep that same energy. If you devoted yeah, while shit is going good. You know, shit. When yeah. you start getting heavy, like man, keep that same energy. Right. You devoted, <laughs> ain't you? You goddamn. You committed, ain't yep. you? You yep. gonna give up? It looks like you running a race and goddamn. You get tired with with one meter left, you just gonna goddamn collapse, or you gonna fight through yep. and finish the goddamn race, yep. cause you committed, all right. Mm -hmm. And that's the same mentality we gotta have, and it's truth, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. We trying to keep our same energy. Exactly. <laughs> trying to keep the same energy, exactly. goddamn. That's the motto. That's the motto. All right. And the, and the scriptures also tell you, hey man, whatever thy find thy uh, soul to do, do with all thy might. Woo. And if you are gonna do it with all your might, that takes what commitment. Yeah. Devotion, all right. Because yeah. if you ain't really trying to do it with all your might, you are gonna half fast it. You are gonna procrastinate. Yep. You are gonna goddamn be lackadaisical. Mm -hmm. You know. But if you're devoted to something, you are gonna do it with all all your might, man. Right. Because okay. the scripture speak about. I want to say it maybe maybe in Timothy, uh, it says do nothing by partiality. Mm -hmm. You know. So don't halfway do something. You know. Put put your all into it. You know. We excited for this truth and truly. You know, this all this all we gotta look forward to. That's right. You know what I'm saying? In all honesty. Mm hmm I ain't have nothing. You got something else? Con, that was all right. Con, con, you know. So you know, man, Lord willing through the spirit, you know, this lesson was edifying and also, man, um a exhortation, man. If you con. feel like, you know, you catching hell and things of mm -hmm. or that nature, hey man, that comes along with, right. with what we signed up for. Yep. All right. So stay committed. Hey, stay devoted, man. All right, because this this is all what it's about, man. It, it's going to be a gratifying reward at the end of the day. Yep. Okay, so hey, man, giving all praise, glory, and honor to you. How by Hashem, Yahushad by Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles. That great millstone. Shalom. Hey, shalom.